In this video, we are going to use modular arithmetic to find the last two digits of this number 1, 2, 3 to the power of 4, 5, 6 to the power of 7, 8, 9. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. Before I begin, let me introduce to you the tools that we're going to use in this problem. The first one is the Euler torsion function. Mapping natural numbers n to the, num to the number of integers between 1 and n that is co prime with the number n. Taking the number 10 as the ensemble, so we are replacing n by 10. This function, uh, we call this function phi. So by this definition, we are counting numbers 1, 3, 7, and 9, numbers between 1 and 10, that is called prime with 10. Now notice that the number 10 has prime factors 2 and 5, so we skip all the even numbers and the number 5. And there are 4 of them, so 5 of 10 equals to 4. We do not like to count the number of um, such integers all the time, so we um, have derived a formula, which I'm not going to show in this video, which is by multiplying n by 1 minus 1 over pi, all the prime factors pi of n. So back to this, this example, because 10 equals to 2 to the 1 times 5 to the 1, 2 and 5 are the prime factors, so 5 of 10 is also equal to 10 times 1 minus 1 over 2 times 1 minus 1 over 5, and that's equal to 4. So um, this formula helps us in finding the value of phi of n. The second tool is the Euler's theorem, um, built upon um, the Euler torsion function, which says that for two natural numbers that are co-prime, a and m, then we have a to the power phi of m, which is the phi is the Euler torsion function. That power is congruent to one mod m. And of course, we are going to use this uh, very often in this problem because finding the number, uh, the last value of the last two digits is equivalent to finding um, that number uh, mod 100. The third tool is the Chinese remainder theorem, which helps us to uh, compute um, congruences when, we, when the number we are t uh, dividing by is a very large number. And we are going to demonstrate how to use that later. Without further ado, let's begin. So as mentioned just now, we are supposed to find this number mod 100. And we are going to make use of this result, the Euler's theorem. If we manage to find a big power that is congruent to 1 mod 100, that will help us um, a lot. So to do this, I'm going to find uh, 5 of 100 first. 5 of 100 equals to 100 times 1 minus 1 over 2 times 1 over 1 minus 1 over 5 because 2 and 5 are the only prime factors of 100 and this gives 40. So we know that for any number a that is congruent that is co prime with 100 I can say that this number to the power of 40 equals to is congruent to 1 mod 100 and that's because of the Euler's theorem so with this result I turn to find this number 4 5 6 to the power of 7 8 9 mod 40 and that's congruent to firstly it's congruent to 16 to the power of 789 mod 40 now there are two ways to compute this the first one is to notice that because 16 to the power of 1 is congruent to 16 mod 40. Well, if I multiply this by 16, which is 16 squared, then that's 256. And at the same time, it's congruent to 16 mod 40. So we know that no matter how many times we multiply 16 by this number, when we divide it by 40, the remainder is still 16. So surely, if we keep iterating, we know that 16 to the power of 789 is congruent to 16 mod 40. That's our first method. And our second method is to make use of the Chinese remainder theorem, which is to split mod 40 into a system of equations. 
So first, I'm going to compute mod 8 and then mod 5. They are both very easy because 16 is clearly a multiple of 8, and which makes this power congruent to 0 mod 8. And at the same time, because 16 itself is congruent to 1 mod 5, so the whole power is also congruent to 1 mod 5. Now that means this number satisfies the system congruent to 0 mod 8 and at the same time congruent to 1 mod 5. Now by Chinese Remainder Theorem, I call it CRT for short. I can always find a solution that is unique mod unique ins inside mod 40. So that means by solving this system, um, I'm actually uh, solving, I'm actually computing um, the whole, the original power mod 40. And um, I'm not going to uh, like use them, use like the algorithm in solving the system, but because um, the number is quite small, so I can simply um, do, do solve this by trial and error. And by doing so, we can see that 16 is the solution, so that power is also congruent to 16. So therefore, we still have this. So we have achieved this with two different methods. So from this, we know that the original number is equal to 1, 2, 3 to the power 40 times some number. That, that's not important, so I'll just scribble plus 16 mod 100. And so I can rewrite this as 1, 2, 3 to the power of 16 mod 100. And then further reduce that because the base is um, greater than 100, so I can like divide it by 100 and just keep the remainder, which is 23 to the power 16 mod 100. Now to further uh, compute this um, power, mod 100, I'm again going to split it into two uh, congruence equations and solve it um, and solve the system. So I'm going to split it into mod 4 and mod 25. The first one, for mod 4, 23 is congruent to minus 1 mod 4, which is congruent to 1 mod 4. And at the same time, this power is congruent to minus 2 to the power 16 mod 25. And notice that this is just 2 to the power 16 mod 25. And I can rewrite that as 2 to the power 10 times 2 to the power 6 mod 25. The reason that I do this is that 2 to the 10 equals to 1024, which is very, very close to multiple of 25, as you can see from the last two digits, and which, which means that it's congruent to minus 1 times 64 mod 25. Now you can quickly compute that and get 11 mod 25. So that remains to solve the system. 1 mod 4 and 11 mod 25. Now to solve this, I'm just going to do the trial and error process, which is to keep adding 25 into 11. So the first one is 11, clearly not 1 mod 4. We add 25, which is 36. Again, not 1 mod 4. And we add 25 again, 61, and it is. So that means this number is congruent to 61 mod 100, which means our final answer is just this number, 61. This is the last two digits. These are the last two digits of that power. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.